Hello everybody, my name is ASM, welcome back to Let's Play Heartfire 4 Kaiserreich as Italy. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're making very, very small gains in Serbia at the moment. Like, very small gains. Really, I'm just waiting for a Serbian counterattack, or a Serbian attack on us so we can counter them back. Our organization is going up pretty slowly on that front, which is a little uh, disappointing. We are making some gains over here in Austria. But we really got to push our way up to Vienna. Vienna, Budapest are the most important uh, provinces. As far as I'm concerned. Like, uh, are they listed in here? Or is it just another... It's another instance where I just think they're not going to show up. Serbia's lost 58,000 men. How many have we lost against Serbia? Uh, less than 20,000. So that's good. We're definitely uh, winning in this war. And they don't have that much manpower either. Are you on scraping the barrel? They're on service by requirement. But they won't be able to reinforce their losses for too long. Ching is... Oh, Ching is actually capitulated. Which actually might be the only major nation in that alliance. I don't know. Uh, open country list. Any of those other countries in there? No, so their, their faction should capitulate. And, uh, Japan's going to take all of this territory. Because these two guys are not considered major nations. Okay, I don't care about the convoy it reports. If anything, I should just say I should save. Were you just left alone? Okay. The Fetting government taking over a lot of territory. Advanced oil processing's been finished. Uh, you don't really matter too much to me. Advanced landing craft. I mean, we could do like a massive, massive naval invasion with those, but... 1945, 250 days is probably a little bit too long. We get some heavy tanks, but I don't have any division with heavy tanks, so I don't think it's really super necessary. We'll just improve our rocket artillery. Even though we don't have that many rocket artillery, we'll still make them better. Try to push our way into Belgrade. Please do not retreat. I mean, I know you're going to. There's not much I can do to stop you. Uh, about 700, 600 defense there. Not great. Why are you not on any front lines? Like, I know this is a lake, but still, whole position. Yeah, you should just stay where you are. You're actually losing this battle. Very disappointed in you guys. And we're gonna lose this city, sadly. No, don't attack. Just hold. Belgrade is not going to fall, so all of you guys hold position. But don't take that city back. Or don't take this province. You should really be there. Okay, so they're attacking into us. Improved infantry equipment is finished. Which actually, was it ahead of time? Uh, yeah, it is. So that is, I mean, very so slightly. Um, anti-tank, anti-air divisions. I mean, maybe we should just add some anti-air uh, into our armies. They're trying to attack into here. Just look to see where they lose their organization. You're only in multiple combats with very, very low strength. And I think this one division might be enough to just kind of push them back. Let's push the Austrians out of here. They really shouldn't. We'll, we'll be like one province away from Vienna, which will be fantastic for us. Again, I'm just trying to make sure we're not leaving any holes in the line. That's a lake, so we don't need to worry about that. 
Serbia did make a little bit of a push, but that's fine. You're defending here quite uh, valiantly. To the point where I can probably push into this guy and he should retreat. They just abandoned the airport so we can go walk into that province. I mean, they are re uh, reinforcing it, but not that fast. A lot of guys with high defense. One guy with, uh, well, two guys with decent organization, but how long is he can actually be in that province? Five days is an actual eternity. I don't know why it takes you so long. I mean, this province isn't defended right now, which is an issue, and that's, he's going to go fill up that. But not much I can actually push here. I'd be like, uh, you're level one for it. You are. Can I get these two guys to push in? Would that be an effective attack? Uh, it should be, actually. They're not uh, too strong. Well, you don't need to even keep attacking here because they've uh, reinforced the airport. I'm really, I really like Purple Army. They're like very tough. Like we're, we're one province away from Vienna. Like we're so close to actually taking the city. Okay, so we've actually uh, advanced a little bit. You're pretty low organization because it stops attacking into there. We do have an exposed province so the tanks can go fill up that line. It doesn't look like the Serbians are actually advancing at the moment. That's good. I could force attack and try to push my way through Rome uh, Serbia. But I don't want to push my way into the, the Austrian line. Blue here is just a defensive measure against the Austrians in, uh, in Hungary. Where are you going? You're going here? Go reinforce this battle. And then you can go wherever the hell you want. Now you can go here if you want. Are you like a... You're pretty strong. Like one infantry division can just push through everybody. And that's my favorite part. Like they're just too good. Nothing stops them. Except... Uh, I got Not being outnumbered, but just not having enough troops to actually continue in advance. Which is... Disappointing. You are taking attrition because you're moving. Is this like a mountain? It's a hill, so that's a little bit of attrition. But right now we have the line pretty filled up. Red's confident with his abilities, but I am not, so... Don't really know what he's thinking. Are you under a commander? You're not. You should be under EU because you're actually really good. Everybody should just be on the door that this guy, because he's got, like, all the stats. I mean, Serbia's lost one territory. Um... Yeah, they've lost a, a handful of provinces. Not, like, a ton. But I would say they are definitely on the losing uh, side of the war. I mean, they're not close to capitulation at 99%. Oh, Iron Guard Romania is also considered a major power, because of course they are. Why would they... Why would they not be? I think we might only need to take, like, Bucharest, though. Most of the other cities... Well, you were 10, you were 5. Damn it. Situation is worse than I actually had, had, uh, had thought. How tough is Vienna? Not actually that strong. All things considered. We can probably push our way into here. You're defending that quite well. No other troops have landed. The French pushed out the Russians in the north. Fantastic. Good work on you. And soon, four days, we might actually take Vienna, which will be fantastic. Let's see if we can take a uh, Giro over here. Yeah, so they do the thing where they uh, try to push into us. They lose all their organization. We can kind of counterattack. Probably counterattack into this army. You can probably push your way. I was going to say you can push your way here, but I don't know if that's really going to be viable. Well, if we push all these guys back, 
then it should be possible. Assuming they don't get any reinforcements. How long until you can actually get there? One day, four hours. You should hopefully be able to hold off the attack for that long. I'm annoyed that, uh... Are you retreating into the city? I don't know what you're doing. But you're gonna move here and reinforce that, so it's fine. Are you just gonna, like, die because you're gonna retreat into the city? Or are you gonna go into, like, an attack again? I'm really not too sure. And most of, most of, for the most part, we're actually doing pretty okay, holding. should hold out pretty well. Like, we've taken Vienna. We can uh, keep researching down the anti-air upgrades. I mean, they're done, like, extremely fast, so, like, why wouldn't we? Like, uh, Austria. I don't even see Austria's war in any of these lists. I don't think they are in any of this list. Oh, there we go. They're 57% towards the way of capitulation. I mean, we took Vienna. That really should be enough for them to be like, yeah, maybe we should just give up. But apparently they're not planning on doing that. Even Vienna is not enough to actually get the, uh, the Austrians to pull out of uh, northern Italy. Oh, did the Austrians actually push us here? They actually made a push. Which is disappointing. Yeah, I might as well just go straight down all the anti-air upgrades. I would still like to take this province. But now nah, they're still way too heavily defended. And dug in. Sadly. Yeah, I guess take Belgrade here, then uh, Serbia should capitulate. Which will mean we should can quickly move our troops down to the, uh, the Romanian border and then try to cross our way up north. Yeah, you're definitely not going to be able to make it up there. Two hundred defense, three hundred attack. How much manpower do you have left? Six hundred thousand. Serbia has none. Romania has a decent amount. But yeah, they're getting to the point where they can't really reinforce properly. Yeah, that's not going to work. Belgrade is a prize. We're not going to be... Uh, the Russians are here. About to take a port, actually. Which is actually like the worst possible uh, situation we could have been in. How long until you can actually get there? 10 days? Of course we're being attacked right now. No, get over here. That's where you need to be. You'll be there in 11 days. You'll be there, yeah, 11 days. That's a long time for German troops to flood into uh, Croatia. Your multiple combats. Probably put you into multiple combats as well. Is this just against enemy ships? Just make sure no reinforcements get over to uh, Croatia. That's really your only objective at the moment. We can get these guys to re uh, retreat. This guy can come up north. Mm, the Austrians are helping the Serbians, which is a bad sign. Like, do you guys already forget about World War I? You should be enemies. That's all I'm saying.
Like, it wasn't that long ago, guy. It was only, like, 20 years ago. You, you should be enemies. Well, it was more like maybe 30 years ago at this point, but still. You shouldn't be helping each other out. 600 defense is not strong enough to actually make a huge breakthrough. Your organization's quite low, but your defense is quite high. So you're going to hold position where you are. Four more days. Really, I'm just trying to make sure any convoy ships don't get into the Adriatic. As any ships I can stop is extremely important, except if they get all... Like, no, go away. Disengage. Thank you. One submarine survives. I mean, that's not great, I will say, but, you know. What can you do? We almost pushed our way up to Budapest as well. So, like, even though the Austrians are making some gains in the south, well, kind of, uh, we are pushing the Serbians back. Apparently not. You're at like 95%. How did you not actually push through? We can push our way out of Graz. Push our way up north here. Can you attack into the, these uh, militias? The militias are pretty weak. So the south, I think we are in a um, hold the line situation. How long until you're actually there? 21 hours. Can I add an anti-air guy to anything? Like that would actually make sense? I don't really know. We're winning all our attacks, we're winning all our defenses. Of course the Germans landed somewhere else. You guys are at 50%, but you have a lot of reserves and a lot of defense. Are you guys, uh, they're slowly getting out of green, which is good. I mean, you guys should have, like, yeah, no supplies, and you should be surrounded. I don't know why you don't have the, uh, surrounded penalties. But I really feel like you should have that. Hey, America, are you going to join the war? File of traders' companies. Okay, I don't know. Like, if they join the war, I would want them to join the war on the, uh, the German side. And then attack Canada, but I don't know if that can actually even happen within the game. So they do this thing where it's like, they attack into me and they lose all the organization. I want to keep pushing into Serbia. But it's just a bit risky. They have a lot of free factories. Uh, more anti- more artillery, more bombers, more fighters. More motorized. More medium tanks. And now we need more rubber, we need more oil, but we once again, we can't really get it from anybody, so... What can you do? How defense is... How defense... Ah, Budapest actually isn't that well defended. So, Serbia is going to lose Budapest, and they're going to lose, uh... And they've already lost Vienna. So, I don't know what they're still fighting for, honestly. They really should just give up. Can I please get my, uh... No, that's not gonna show me. Okay, so, once they, so we kicked the, the Russian militia troop out. Very important. You guys should be able to push your way into here. I'm just really trying to shorten the, uh, the line right now. Which might be a little bit difficult to say when you have such a wide line and very thin, but... I'm trying my best. The Austrians are actually moving troops into uh, Serbia. I'm guessing they have military access now, which is the worst. You have an actual Caucasus belly against the Austrians. You should push it. Modified government. Um, Chief of the Navy. Chief of the Navy doesn't matter. The Navy just dies immediately. Limit exports means we'll get more factories, but the output's not as great. And we lose a decent amount of the construction speed. 
Scraping the barrel is the next step. But we definitely, I don't think, need that. Training kind goes up even more. The factory output's already low. Total mobilization is actually only going to hurt us. I don't think most of these matter. Small ships, capital ships, fighters. Heavy bombers. And then we'll get uh, fighters afterwards. So there you go. You guys get back to the front line like ASAP. You're still defending quite valiantly. I'm proud of you. Well, I mean, the Austrians' help defending are not really a problem. Even over here, even though the Austrians have a lot of troops, it's actually the Italians that have all the defensive value. Like 22% entrenched, 30% entrenched. 18%. Like, see if, we, if uh, these two guys can be shortened down to just one guy to take this province. We'll definitely try to take that city. Budapest isn't falling as quickly as I would like it to. If we can just kind of speed up that process, that would be great. Got to make sure I, you know, I pull this guy out when we get to 100. We're winning all of our offensive engagements. Okay, 81, 85. As soon as it hits like 99, I'm just going to like not attack anymore with this guy. Never mind. Uh... How long until you can actually get back into the line? Two days to fill up the gap. That's a little while, but not much I can do about that. Germany still got like a decent amount of troops down in the south of France. I'm guessing, am I going to take Prague now? For 30. Like, I've taken every single major Serbian city, or Austrian city. And yet they still will not say no to war. Which, okay, where is Austria in here at all? Are they in any of these lists? No, uh, the war with Austria just doesn't show up at all. So, how close is, uh, them to capitulating? I got no clue. There's no numbers here to tell me. But I think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thanks for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you enjoyed, click thumbs down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.